Note to content of this video. This video and the information that follows were recorded to download Revit 2020. This video is the same process to follow for Revit 2021. Please make a note of the change and download Revit 2021. The purpose of this video is to present step two in downloading Revit 2021 to a Windows PC. Remember, we are downloading Autodesk Revit R-E-V-I-T. And I know that the captioning doesn't pick it up very well, but to say the least, we're going to go to our Autodesk account. And our Autodesk account that we've created is at autodesk.com forward slash education. From here, we're going to go to get products. Say there's no backwards compatibility, you can't save any files as a previous version of the software. It doesn't work. So I'm going to make sure I do two things. One is to assure that I'm going to download Revit 2021. And the second is to also make sure that I use the download method that's going to put all of the software application onto my downloads folder so that I can be ensured that it's downloading all of what I need and not broken up because I tried to install it through the web. So I get started. By clicking get started, it's taking me to my Autodesk account. I need to sign in. It should bring me back to that same spot right here for Revit. It's saying now get product. This is where I'm going to need to make sure that I'm using good skills to read what I'm installing. I actually installed it incorrectly the first time. Revit 2021. And the second is that I want to go to download, not install. I'm going to use the download method particularly for our neck of the woods. Now the next thing I want to show you that seems a little uncomfortable at first is that it just opened up six screens. It's going to come to you in six parts. They're all executable files, but all we will need to do when we install is to execute the first of the six and everything else will take care of itself. Save. And keep saving until all of the windows have closed. This is very important. Now the download for this, each segment is two gigabytes in space. And it will take probably about a half an hour for all of these to download completely. This last one I'm waiting for available uh, save window to come up. And as you can see here, this is giving us different segments. Segment three, segment two, segment one. So as I go through, I can see that there are in fact all of these differing segments. So there is a seventh segment going to come to me in multiple parts. I need to be patient to assure that I get that seventh window opened and saved correctly. Typically with downloading multiple segments we see that there are a certain number of sockets available. So the seventh socket won't uh, be allowed to uh, download until one of the sockets is closed. So you're seeing this kind of weird um, screen. Please don't be alarmed. This is normal. All right. As that last one came off, you can see that the downloads are still in process. So the seventh of seven downloads is now asking me to save because of the limitation to six sockets. So it's brought me back to the web location 
the Revit 2020 that you're installing is located in seven segments. It's in your downloads folder. I'll pick it up on the installation side next.